What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today I am actually super excited for all of these stages coming finally for Super Battle Road. Whew, I know a lot of people aren't, but I am very, very happy to start testing out new units once I get the feel for the events themselves, be able to test out a lot of free to play units, a lot of new units that come to the game, and also to finally, eventually in time, get that free to play team that can take these one of these events down because these stages and these missions are very similar to the first 10 stages it is awesome we need to get into translating though the brand new lr that is coming with this it's just like the gohan actually but a little bit better and then there's a couple of other new cars that i think are coming in a banner i'm not really sure but nonetheless let's get into all the transitions right now and it's going to be a blast at least for me personally so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below as always what your thoughts on this are so first off let's get into the brand new stages for super battle road here okay so as we know we are getting 10 new stages for super battle road so one through 10 are the usual uh extreme stages and the super stages very basic stuff okay stage 11 is a super type stage though this is the kanji for super type teams and then obviously this is that only super types can be used on this on this stage right here okay so stage 11 is all super types stage 12 is going to be all extreme types okay so again this is mostly using vegeta leads rose leads there are a few other cards that do have a hero lead or a villain lead for example from the baba shop from the battlefield 2.0 you can get a super saiyan 2 angel goku and a Maj vegeta that are strength and physical and they technically act as hero and villain leads um i'm sure you could probably also bring certain categories that maybe only fit extreme units on there and you'd be able to do that so maybe this is this would be very simple maybe it's actually gonna be very difficult i don't know if they're gonna limit you it all depends on what they really do if they say like hey you can't start this match because you don't have a particular leader as a hero or villain leader then you know be able to do that or if you simply can just be like okay i'm gonna bring say for example angel and frieza as the resurrect warriors category and I have nothing but as villains on that team, then it works out just fine. So I don't know. I don't know. Also, one thing we really don't know at the time of this recording is if it's going to be something like, uh, again, type advantage or type disadvantage doesn't really matter. From now on, everyone's just doing neutral damage. Or if you really actually will have to be careful and be like, okay, you're, an, you're a uh, AGL unit, you're an inch unit. So I got to make sure I have the right guys blocking and everything. Because again, we're not going with just types now. We're going with multiple different types and multiple different types of teams. So we'll have to wait and see. But I can't wait to, to personally see those as well. Finally, bring back some Rosé friends. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. Uh, which also means potentially Rosé could be coming back very soon. So next is going to be the fusion category stage. Yes, the fusion category is here. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind, though, is that a lot of these categories do have the ability to also give a uh, type uh, stat leads to their types, essentially. So for example, the fusion category, if you bring the Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 or the LR Gogeta, they also give a 50% boost to tech types or a 90% to physical types, depending on which one you bring. If those guys are not in the category, however, most likely you will not be able to run them on this. So for example, on my fusions team, I like to bring the physical Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because he gives 35% attack and defense to uh, every type, essentially. He's not limited to any type or any you know, HP restriction or anything like that. He's a great support unit right there. So he, I will not be able to bring on this team for Super Battle Road right here. So I'm going to have to go back and rely on the Int, uh, Van Pandel, Vid, uh, Pan, no, Pan, yeah, Pandel Fusion, I believe, uh, cause she is like one of the very few support units. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what fusions and all these other categories mean, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to mean. So anyway, so fusion is going to be stage 13, stage 14 is going to be Shadow Dragons. Shadow Dragons could be a little tricky just based on how limited the category is. Um, um, it, based on what you have. If you have everything or you have most of the units for a Shadow Dragon category, like the new Goku, obviously Omega, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, Gogeta, all that fun stuff, then I think you're pretty much good to go in terms of who you can bring and everything like that. If you are missing just one of those top units though, it could be a little tricky and then obviously, obviously you know, we have to wait. You know, it could be a while until maybe something else comes out that goes into that category. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not really sure, but uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least. So I'll, we'll have to definitely check that out when it comes to Shadow Dragons. This is honestly the weirdest one and it kind of ties into some of the new cards coming out. And uh, it really makes me wonder like, okay, depending on what category stage it is, do they make it easier? Do they make it harder? Or is it just the same across the board? Because this particular team right here is going to be pretty difficult. And that's the Peachy Peachy Girl category. And if it is as tough as all the other ones, oh, wow. You better hope you have everyone rainbowed for this. I'm not really sure. So... This one will definitely be, uh, again, interesting. I don't really know what else more to say about it. I'm not particularly a fan of it. I don't see the point in it. You can say for fun. You can say because they have to add all the categories in. Fine, I guess. But uh, 
couldn't have added a different category that's come back quite a few. Where's SSJ3 for crying out loud? So that, that leader skill has been back at least two or three times, not to mention the baby lead that's been out and everything like that. So I don't know. It's still a little... It's a little weird to me. I mean, the free-to-play Ribran is the better leader here than, I believe, the physical one. The physical one is only 70%. The free-to-play STR one is 77% in terms of leader skill. So, 7% difference, but, hey, you know, hey, that's 7% is 7%. So, hard to say. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, that could definitely be the one that trips me up, though. I'm not going to lie on that one, okay? Next is uh, Half Sands right here. So, uh, Ultimate Gohan finally making a comeback. His team's still a little weird, so I'll have to definitely do some testing when it comes to who is going to be on that and what team work the best resurrected warriors i have a feeling this one will probably be pretty easy if you've got a decent amount of characters obviously angel golden frieza very good tank uh if you bring his angel or not the angel the golden frieza tech guy he's definitely a very good tank as long as you keep his hp above 50 percent uh eza cell is gonna be amazing with that team now um if you bring king piccolo the int one from the world tournament minus 25 attack across the board on all enemies love bringing that guy he's definitely gonna be really good right there kid boo hitting like a truck plus healing so it should work out pretty well uh in terms of the resurrected warriors there Next is going to be the Realm of Gods or just Godly Realm category, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this will definitely be interesting uh, simply because UI Goku is definitely a good card. He just takes a while to finally get going a little bit when it comes to Super Attack. But if he gets in Transform and you're lucky enough for the dodges and everything like that, then yeah, he can definitely take this down pretty fast. Not to mention LR Rose and all those other guys. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, I wonder though, if maybe finally someone like Int Weiss will finally be good enough to bring on to this and it will be you know very beneficial for that because not only is he support units, but if you bring maybe the tech one, then you can stun people and minus attack and all that other fun stuff. So we'll have to wait and see, but that's one of the categories coming out. Uh, next is the Majin Buu category. So this is bringing in a physical Vegito as your main leader. This is that's literally the only guy I believe with that category leader skill. So uh, I don't think it will be too hard if you've got a decent team because physical Vegito is just going to tank everything and reflect everything unless it's a super attack. So we'll have to wait and see. And then Patara. Do I really need to speak about Patara? I mean, as long as you have the LR and a couple of the good units, you're basically good to go in that regard right there. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm not really sure. So uh, anyway, so the missions are going to be, and I'll kind of a spoiler right here, we are getting a new LR. I'm going to go over the Goku here in just a minute. Uh, but basically, the way that the missions work are just like with the uh the lr gohan that we originally had so for lr gohan originally it was beat all super stages you get one gohan beat all extreme stages get one gohan beat every single stage and you get two of them and then beat one stage or a total amount of stages 20 times so you can beat maybe stage two you know two times and beat stage four 10 times or something like that and as long as you came up to about 20 in total then you're fine or you could beat one stage 20 times and that worked out well here for this goku right here though you need to be able to beat stages uh with, yeah, stages 11 through 20, uh, 20 times. So that's fine. So anywhere in between that, you can beat stage 11, 20 times, stage 15, 11 times, or and then another bunch of other times or something like that. Nonetheless, in total, in a grand total, 20 times beats all it's a combination of different stages, you'll get one Goku. This one is beating uh, stages 11 through 20 to be, beat all of them, and you get two of the Gokus. Defeat the odd stages and defeat the even stages are these ones right here. So the odd ones are like, you know, stage 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and then 12 all the way up to 20. So you get the idea. And that gets you one Goku per piece right there, okay? Every time you beat a certain stage, you'll get one stone for beating the stage. And then um, you clear a mission, which then gives you five extra stones. So a total of six stones for each stage. So that's a decent amount of stones right there if you can beat them all within, you know, pretty even, you know, pretty fast when it's out. Super Battle will be around every single day until the 31st, I believe. So definitely keep that in mind right there. Um, by the way, all these missions down here, these extra ones are just for a little story mission. So I'll, I'll do I'll cover that stuff later because it's not really important right now. So uh, other than that, though, that's basically it in terms of the missions. Let's go over the big cards. First one up right here is the LR Goku. Yes, he's wearing the, it's like some, it's like the Monkey King Goku. Same kind of costume as Gohan, basically. Same super attack for the 12 key, funny enough. But basically, he is the same as the 1,000 Day Goku. Uh, key plus 3, stats up 100% to everybody. If you do a 12 key super attack, you have a rare chance to stun, which I believe is the same as the, ki the Kid Gohan that you get from the first stages of the Super Battle Road. Then, uh, if it's an 18 key, then super allies. It's not just any allies. It's super allies right here. Okay, so this is the kanji again for super. Uh, allies attack up 30%, which is pretty good. Passive skill. Passive skill has been a little divisive around here. I mentioned it on Twitter and everything like that, but let's get everything straight down according to the kanji at least, okay? Super types, uh, key plus two, attack and defense up 30%. Very basic for a good support unit right there. 
and a medium chance to dodge enemy attacks. Now, he is not giving the chance to super types to dodge enemies, okay? Based on this kanji right here, it is saying that he himself, the Goku, has a medium chance to dodge the enemy attack, okay? There are a lot of people going like, wait, is the Goku dodging or is he giving the ability to others to dodge? Again, maybe the kanji is messed up the way it's supposed to be and it's being interpreted wrong, but in the ways that the kanji right here is laid out, just like any other card when it comes to this particular passive ability, he himself will be dodging, not the other guys having a medium chance, okay? So this is great for him. He's going to get the level 5 free dodge, obviously, because he is a support unit. He's not meant to hit hard or anything like that. So I actually, maybe just give him a 20 dodge. I'm not really sure. Probably, no, actually, actually, I, I take that back. I'm probably going to give him 15 additional, and then the rest will probably be dodged. I don't really see the need to give him critical. He's mostly a support unit again. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what the damage uh, tests come out and all that fun stuff. And then also, if your HP is 50% or below... On top of the 30% attack and defense that you give super allies, you give an additional attack and defense of 20% to super allies. So if your HP is 50% or below, Goku comes onto the field, guess what? You're giving your allies 50% attack and defense as long as they are super units, which for the most part, I think you're going to be running him on a team with mostly uh, super units. So that's pretty nice right there. The only category he's in though is the pure sand category. So I guess maybe there you might have like Rosé or someone like that because he's obviously on. Oh wait, no, sorry. Rosé's not even on that category. I don't know why I said that. There's a couple of evil stands on there, but anyway, you, you get the idea. A Broly, technically, I guess, right? Like S-E-R or L-O or Broly. If you have him, he would not get that right there, so that just is what it is right there. Unfortunately, no prepare for battle, but again, support unit plus two key kind of takes that spot right there, so it is what it is. So other than that, though, yeah, pretty solid LR. I'm liking it. I'm definitely going to rainbow the guy. <laughs> I'm definitely rainbowing that guy, so I can't wait to try that out. Next is this uh, Brawl right here. So she is a ag agility and tech leader in terms of key plus three sets up 50 percent nothing really special obviously she does extreme damage and she greatly re increases her attack every turn it's the kaioken mechanic just like int easy at gohan now so pretty good right there that's probably why they gave her extreme and not supreme uh in terms of her passive though she gives everyone key plus two attack up 30 percent and if anyone on the team in the on the on her team is in the peach peachy girl category then for every character in that category her own chances to dodge okay note this card right here Jibuno, okay, Jibuno means your, not everyone else, so yours, your chances to dodge go up 20% for each character at a total of 50%, so that right there is something you have to keep in mind right there, and then, uh, it's funny enough, her, uh, your super attack is Papa no Gallic Gun, <laughs> or Gallic Hole, that's pretty funny right there, I'm not gonna lie, like, Vegeta actually comes out and does a super attack, so that's pretty funny right there, and then finally, this Chi Chi right here, now, by the way, for Chi Chi and for Bra, I'm assuming that they're probably gonna be on some kind of Peach Peach Girl category banner, maybe, little discounts here and there, I'm not really sure, we'll probably find out tomorrow when Super Battle Road drops, because the Goku Super Saiyan 4 full powered goes away so keep that in mind okay chi chi is strength and physical types key plus three stats at 50 percent uh she has seals the enemy super attack so i guess that's definitely gonna be helpful for super battle road her passive is definitely really interesting at the beginning of the turn her own attack goes up by 80 percent and for uh, for anyone in the peach peach girl category that's on the team they will get an additional key plus two and defense up a hundred percent wow that's actually pretty good now, I will say one thing real quick is that I would not try to go hardcore for these units if you're trying to beat this one particular uh, Super Battle Road here or anything like that. They're obviously going to be just like any of the other waifu cards where they're going to appear on every banner in the future. So you don't really need to chase them if you don't get them. So they'll come over time probably. And, you know, obviously we'll get more cards. Hopefully we'll maybe get 150% leader, something like that for this category because otherwise 77%. I hope you guys are lowering the difficulty on that. Otherwise, a lot of people are not going to be able to beat it. So I know we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, that's basically it for the update stuff when it comes to the new cards, Super Battle Road stuff. All this stuff is dropping, uh, well, tomorrow actually, Japan time at 5 p.m. Uh, Japan time. We're going to be getting all this stuff. Can't wait to do it. Going to be recording all those uh, Super Battle Road car or, uh, missions and everything like that. Stages. It's going to be a blast. I'm looking forward to it. All the new uh, showcases and everything. All the new cards to try out. Teams. All that fun stuff. And eventually down the road, we will get to a free-to-play team. So anyway, guys, that's me for the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.